Hi, and welcome to Check It Out, your inside scoop for all the great happenings at your Grand Prairie Public Libraries. I'm Peter, and this is Jennifer. Hello. Well, it's very hot outside, right, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about programs for July? Well, it is getting hotter, so we need you to come into our libraries to cool off and come to our cool programs. On July 17th at 3.30 p.m. at the Warmack Library, explore the Big Dipper, Phases of the Moon, and Chemical Reaction Rockets with the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Then head over to the Shotwell Library on the 18th at 2 p.m. for a Race to Space, a space-themed escape room. If you are 8 to 11 years old, you can head over to the Shotwell Library every Tuesday in July at 2 p.m. for Crafternoons. And come check out a special space program presented by the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History on Friday, July 19th at 10.30 a.m. And if you love to build, make a plan to go to Buildopolis at the Warmack Library on July 25th at 3 p.m. or 3.45 p.m. to enjoy free building with different kinds of blocks. This is an all-ages program. But that's not all. For more information about additional summer programs, please visit our website. Well, that's just another great lineup of programs, mm -hmm. Jennifer. Another wonderful thing at the library this year is our free kids' lunches during the summer. Mm -hmm. City Square Foods provides these lunches, and GPTV was there to find out all about it. City Square Food is back at Grand Prairie's main library this summer which means free lunches for kids are too. Here you go, sweetheart. Can you get your milk? Thank you. You're welcome. Formerly known as Food on the Move, the very popular program that offers nutritious You're meals welcome. for kids from 1 to 18 years old is now in its third straight year at the library, where it has served hundreds of Grand Prairie families over the past two summers. Every meal includes a protein, a grain, a fruit, a vegetable, and a milk to follow USDA guidelines. And so we make sure that those are nutritious meals so kids are getting the nutrition that they need to really grow in the summer. Funded by the state and run through Dallas nonprofit City Square, City Square Food has proven to be a perfect fit for Grand Prairie and the library because the shared mission is much more than just handing out free food. One of the requirements that the state has for the meals is that the kids stay there and eat. So we provide picnic blankets and all kinds of activities to make it a really fun environment. All right, I'm going to give you all five seconds to run. This summer we've got lots of STEM activities that we're doing, so some experiments, some fun things so kids can learn a little bit over the summer, but we also always have jump ropes, ball games, hula hoops, and all kinds of things to keep kids active. So after kids eat their lunch, then they can go out into our field and play soccer or play different kinds of games together. Having a nutritious meal and exercise is very important for child development, not only physically, but mentally. Children must have a great balance of food, exercise, and indoor time. City Square Food starts at 2 o'clock on weekdays and runs through August 9th. For more information, visit gptx.org slash library or citysquare.org slash programs slash food. I love that program. I love to see the kids outside playing and having a great time. And it's perfect because they can come to a program at Maine, go outside, get lunch, play, and come back in to cool off. It's great. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go and see what Anna and Dr. Kerfuffle are up to. And Pablo. Oh, and Pablo, yes. Yeah. Hello, happy July. Hope you all had a great 4th of July celebration. Pablo and Dr. Kerfuffle will talk to us about a program, I guess, maybe a drink. Uh, but first, let me tell you about some awesome teen and adult programs for the month of July. Teens, join us for Retro Crafts Week beginning on July 30th. We'll be making GIMP bracelets and keychains, 8-bit art, and tie-dye t-shirts. Don't forget to bring your own t-shirt. Adults, join us for Summer Scares on Thursday, July 18th. Come celebrate Halloween in July. We'll discuss your favorites from the horror genre. Plus, we'll be raffling door prizes. Adults, are you traveling to a Spanish-speaking country and need to learn a little bit of Espanol? Join us on Saturdays at the main library from 10.30 a.m. starting July 13th for free adult Spanish classes. Do you miss the Game of Thrones series and wish it was still on TV? 
Join us as we make an assortment of Game of Thrones inspired crafts. Registration is required. Back to our special guests. Pablo, what are you doing? We are just sipping on some lemonade. Why? We are getting ready for sip and spell. Are you better at sipping or spelling? We're better at both. Can you spell lizard? We sure can. P A B L O. Who Pablo. wants who wants Pablo on their team? I do. Pablo. Pablo. When is the event? Join us on July 19th at 7 p.m. at the Warmack Library for Sip and Spell. See you there. And the Sip and Spell and all the late night library programs are so cool. It's just mm -hmm. a great way to hang out with your friends on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice this year because we're having some of them, like this one, at the Warmack mm -hmm. Library. And speaking of places to go, Marion the Librarian is at a new destination mm. this month. So let's go see what she's up to. Hi, and welcome back to Where Is Mary and the Librarian? I'm in a new location today, and I've got one clue for you, so make sure you're paying attention. We're about to go on an adventure of learning. Are you ready? All right, so here's the tightrope. Tightropes go one way, and we are humans, and we get to stand on the tightrope. As we're walking, we can walk forward, or we can walk backwards. Now imagine that you're a flea. This flea has the ability to go underneath the tightrope. Were you listening? Good. Now, I'm going to call in some backup for the second clue. Code red. I repeat, we have a code red. The, I wonder where she is. What is she? Well, yeah, what does she need backup? Backup? What's, what's a code red? Uh, no idea. Turn around, look at what you see in her face. The mirror of your dreams. Make believe I'm everywhere, given in the light. Written on the pages, the answer to our ever-ending story. Jennifer, that's, that's the strangest thing I've ever seen on this show. I, I mean, what do you expect from Finkelmeyer, though? I mean, good point. She's yeah, since very strange. Mary and, and Mrs. Finkelmeyer kind of, we lost their signal. Mm -hmm. Just to remind everybody, if you know where Marion is, make sure you email your response to GPLibrary at gptx.org by the end of July mm -hmm. to be entered into this month's contest. Well, good luck finding out where Marion is and good luck getting that song out of your head. Yes. <laughs> I'm Jennifer for Peter reminding you to check it out.